Good evening, everyone. My name is Bruce Schwartz. I'm from Montreal, Canada. Yeah, it's cold. Today was very cold. Tomorrow, three degrees. Ouch. Up and down. But <sighs> amazing news. This is Aristarchus Crater, the surrounding ground level terrain. That is clouds, smoke, haze. It's something and it's unnatural. And now we're going to see the most revealing surface I've ever seen in my life. I just saw it tonight and I'm going to share it with you guys. We're going to see exactly what is on the surface. And this is without filtering, of course. We're going to do an x-ray processing. Um, stepped it up a little bit, changed the, uh, the processing just a tad and check it out. You're actually looking at a circular uh, construction and here lines that are connected to Aristarchus Crater is just over top and that's the white line that you see on the top of the photo. The surface is revealed. It's absolutely what is there. Each structure independent, thousands of structures, almost all of them symmetrical. Look at that. Major connections, bridges, paths, corridors, whatever they may be, everything is connected. Each object is placed in a way so that the, the object beside it arrives evenly with it or in a way connected to it and you could clearly see it on the surface it's a straight up shot just absolutely amazing you know there's no tampering here there <laughs> wow uh, th this is pretty amazing when you think of it because natural or not these objects we've never seen let's just say that okay we've never seen these objects look at these dark lines going down there all the symmetrical structures around it and we don't just look for symmetrical objects we know here on earth there are many objects that are constructed that are not symmetrical at all but you could easily walk through the woods and see a setup of something you have no idea what it is but you absolutely know that it's constructed that's just very obvious look at that aristarchus crater so this is all the surrounding terrain where Aristarchus Crater is. And now this is just the beginning. Look at that. I'm fascinated by these objects. They really attract my eye immediately because they're overlapping each other. And you know, don't forget, this is thousands of feet up in the air. And look at the hole, the descending level all around Aristarchus Crater. Like Aristarchus Crater is like on this massive mountain that goes up and all the way up is these layers or levels of different construction and they're all connected to one another. Look at that. Isn't it spectacular? Now we're really close up to Aristarchus Crater. 40 kilometers or 25 miles Aristarchus Crater to give you an idea of scale and size of the focal length of what we're viewing. How wide is the screen right now? Well, if Aristarchus Crater is 40 kilometers, 25 miles, Say to yourself, right about now, we're under 25 miles width, the entire screen. Look at what you're looking at. That is structuring. Natural, you think? It, it's absolutely not natural, okay? Everything's connected, okay? And don't forget, here in night vision, these structures are all colorful. The cone cells in our eyes do not distinguish the difference in all the jumbled up colors when you're looking um, at a colorful surface. The eye is overwhelmed. The cone cells give back a clouded view, a very, um, you know, well, don't forget, clouds, dusts, and haze are on the surface, but each object looks just like that cloud because we're not seeing the color of these structures. Don't forget, these structures are extremely colorful and each individual structure 
or object, natural or not, has its own unique color. So you can't help but wonder if these are constructed objects. Just the fact that they each have different colors. Would the surface not be all the same color? Okay, you're saying minerals? Well, first of all, minerals are not symmetrically square and rectangular, triangular and circular. It would be scattered out, look like, you know, unevenly minerals, right? You wouldn't see these lines and symmetrical structuring and you wouldn't see them connected the way they are. This is without any filters at all. And then of course, we're gonna to go to the processing to be able to clearly see the surface. Guys, look at what we're looking at. That is the virtual surface of the moon. It's the same as you just saw right now. Go back and compare it. It's hard to see without the filtering, but it's still there. You could clearly see it's there. You don't have to force that much to see this proof and truth. You know, it's, it's not that hard for you to squint a little bit, you know, to see exactly what I'm showing you because it is very clear. Say to yourself, this is a gray area, guys, okay? We're, we're like, look at this. Isn't that amazing? We're used to seeing this entirely gray and or lit up bright white. So now we're taking that down, toning it down to be able to see what's on the surface. So hopefully, and of course, with success, and we will succeed, um, we're going to clarify Aristarchus Crater, that white crater. Here's Copernicus Crater. Look at all the colors on the surface. Look at the blue domes. Well, we don't know if they're domes, right? But the, the blue spots that are around Copernicus Crater. Now, what's going on here? Why is that symmetrical? It definitely is. And look at over here. These are constructed objects. Do you see the lines going over top of those objects? It was built. Whatever it may be, there's beings maybe passing through them or there's liquids through them or there's a gas or oil or who knows? Maybe they're holding all the oil that's on, um, that, uh, you know, they're making down here, pulling out of the, the earth and maybe they're sending it up there to do whatever they want to do or maybe vice versa. I mean, we have no idea. Earth and the moon so long me are much more connected, you know, than we think, you know, the relationship to them. But there's so many theories and so many stories. We tend to get lost in that and we fight over the silliest things instead of looking with our eyes, using common sense, and look at what you're looking at. Copernicus Crater, here's east. Look at, on the right there. Look at the east side, the south side. You're not going to tell me that you don't see one symmetrical object. And even, even, sorry, if they're not symmetrical, you could clearly see that it's constructed, right? They're, they're all connected together. There's thousands and thousands of objects on the surface. Some could be machinery. OK, some could be um, maybe areas where uh, beings could actually be working or living in it. We don't know if it's ancient or if these uh, structures are empty or not, because obviously seeing movement on the surface, we're lucky enough to see the vessels move around, you know, and we're even seeing biological creatures. Can you imagine that? Those just arriving who have just subscribed. Thanks so much. And please check back in the videos, um, you know, just start going backwards. You're going to flip out when you see um, what type of l alien life that I am catching on the surface. I really do believe, honestly, that it's uh, a biological type of biological creatures with an S because we're seeing several types of them. Look at this. Eratosthenes Crater. Just at the end of the Apennine Mountains between Copernicus that you can see over top there. And we're seeing structuring objects between both of the areas. So the surface of the moon with these um, areas that have these uh, constructed objects or natural or not, it's not just here. It's um, a vast area all over the moon. And I've been uh, looking around to see, um, you know, areas that don't have anything. And there's different construction, but it still looks like construction. Here in color, Eratosthenes Crater at the bottom, Copernicus crater over top. There's the colors you can see between them and always that haze and light sources. 
there's a, you know, it's a pattern that we're seeing. What's this? You know, take a look at it before I say what I'm seeing. It's clearly a um, square platform with something that looks symmetrically circular on top. A dome, a sphere, a tank, reservoir. I don't know, but it looks built. Eratosthenes crater is over on the bottom right. Look underneath Eratosthenes crater. Another entrance or opening there, natural or not, but these are things that we don't usually see. Inger Lee Strong, thanks so much for the generous contributions and for being a part of this community.